What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video we are going to be going over the control setup in your John Deere 7R tractor. Now this is going to be four models that start with 7R and have the digits following behind it so there is going to be a little bit of a difference if you have an older model say like a 72 something R with the R at the end whereas this is going to be for the models that start 7R with the three numbers behind it. So keep that in mind this is going to fit that certain category. So what we're talking about is our controls setup. Now our controls setup is going to be a setup screen here in our right hand monitor over here that allows us to customize a few different things. So if we look over here on our armrest, what we're going to have is we are going to have our four SCV switches. Now this could differ depending on the model. You may have four, you may have six, you may only have three. There are tons of different setups with these machines. Here in this example, we do have four different SCVs. Then if we move back a little further, we're going to have these four buttons here labeled one, two, three, four with the boxes around it. And the control setup is going to be mainly for those two separate applications. So normally our SCV switches are going to be for those rear hydraulics here. That is what they're going to be set up for, but you can also customize those to change what they're gonna be for. So if we wanna go into our control setup, we're gonna hit menu, then we're gonna go to applications. Then here we're gonna go to control setup. And in this top right corner here, this is where we're gonna be able to change the function of our SCV. So if for some reason we want SCV number one, the switch, if we want it to actually function for SCV number three at the rear, we can change that by clicking on that. We could also change this to where it has to do with our rear hitch right here. And we can do that with any of these four here on our SCVs. Now we also can change what our iTech buttons, those one, two, three, four switches that I showed you over here on the armrest, that is going to be for certain functions that you can customize also within the screen. So we have one, two, three, four here to where they are active, but you can change this to where you can change it to where number one actually runs function one, two, three, or four, or you can remove the assignment that's set to it. Now, let me explain a little bit more about what that means. So if we get out of this, go into our actual iTech settings here. This is where we have over here our one, two, three, four. So iTech, like I said, is a set of functions that you can customize and set this machine up to be able to do by the press of just one button. So say here for number one, if we wanted to set up a certain function for it, we could click on it hit add step to begin and let's say we want to set this button up to where it will lower our planner down and go ahead and get it started all by pressing one button we could have that set up for number one then for number two maybe we have it set up for a plow so we have it a little bit different how it's going to lower when it's going to start how the transmission is going to run all of those things can be set up here in our iTech screen so that is going to be a little bit separate from our control setup screen, but the control setup screen is going to be for our four iTech buttons and our four SCVs. So just know that whenever you are looking for any type of customization for these buttons that you may not have any idea what they're for, that is the place that you need to go right there is going into control setup or into your iTech controls. So pretty short, sweet, not a whole lot to do here in control setup in these seven R's, but you do have a lot within that screen that you can dive deeper into to really customize this machine to fit your operation. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you'd like this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and also guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here